Hi, my name is Ben Dai, and I am the director for Honor and Glory. So the story is pretty much inspired by the game level icon vault. There's a, a suit of armor, a crusader armor that's sitting in the throne room at the very end of the level. And there's the beautiful story behind that. It's a story about a mentor, Baldrick, and his apprentice, Reinhardt. The coin has a significance because that's what Overwatch should send out. It's kind of like the, the Willy Wonka chocolate factory, uh, the, the golden ticket. Overwatch will send these coins out as, as a symbol of, um, please join us. So, that's it. You're leaving us. I have been called. The idea was uh, Baldrick was the original pick um, because he's a wiser, much more experienced fighter. And we want to create a situation where Reinhardt's a little bit jealous. He's not He's not going to go in and openly say that he is jealous, but he's. he felt like he should be the one who got picked. But we also want to try to establish this relationship of mentor, and apprentice, and they're good friends. Um, even though Reinhardt, in the backstory, the Reinhardt is the, the brash, young soldier, Baldrick, and Baldrick is the, the more experienced and level-headed uh, commander. Baldrick always have a soft spot for Reinhardt because, you know, he treat him like either a brother or a son. And in the bar, um, we're pretty much taking everything from the game level uh, one to one. We got to take out a few items on the table and then whatnot, but we pretty much stick with uh, what the game level. Live with honor. <laughs> Die with glory. So when when we were um, animating these battlefield, I always had this um, idea of making everything feels very realistic. Uh, there's a challenge behind that because we have, um, always, we already established this sort of uh, Overwatch style. It's, 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 it's very stylized, um, you know, muzzle flashes, tracers, and explosions. So it's a challenge to try to incorporate what the game did and also what we try to create in this short, which is the, the, almost like the, the, um, the horror of the war and, and what the devastation it brings. This is the first time we introduce OR-14 in the shore. Uh, they are, uh, in the lore, they are um, another unit from the Omni Crisis. In our shorts, we make them a little, just a little bit more meaner. Um, they're like the, um, the the counter for the Crusader on the Omnic side. And that's why we see that uh, Reinhardt and, and Baldrick are having a, such a hard time dealing with these guys. Reinhardt! It's based on Arissa. It's actually a previous model. Uh, originally, we were just gonna take the, the, the game skin and win the one, um, try to stick with our, our model of, you know, not don't change any game um, stuff. But Arnold, the associate art director for the game, actually uh, made a point for us to change the way um, the OR-14 gun fires. Orissa actually has a, a very different cadence of firing, so Arnold want, really want us to uh, change that so it's ballistic and also feels like it's a it's a it's an older model. I had this, obviously. Throughout this whole battlefield, there's just tons of effects. The effects department really did an awesome job of uh, recreating this battlefield and uh, the, the look in the field, the explosions, uh, and, and basically we're putting everything, including the kitchen sink, in this short. That door won't hold. We struggled a bit on this on this sequence because the rating we can't show blood and gore, uh, but we gotta show that um, uh, Baldrick is hurt and he's hurt bad. So we came up with a solution of putting just some little bit of smoke uh, on, on his wound. But um, when we were watching the the final mix or final picture, it's it's just not enough. So I think the picture was due like in in two or three days. And, and then we, I, I, I went and asked the, the, the FX supervisor, can we add something else on top of this? And um, being an awesome team, the FX team are, um, they, they say, sure, let's try something. And then they did a couple of versions of the drips. And then we actually, I think it adds a lot to uh, making sure that the, the audience recognized the Baldrick was hurt, but without being too gross and showing blood squirting or something like that. Reinhardt, live with honor. The moment where um, they made their exchange um, of the hammer uh, was um, came pretty early on during the writer's room. Um, back then, we had this whole uh, moment where Reinhardt had two hammers. At one point, Reinhardt had two, had a two hammer. He never used a shield. 
and Baldrick actually took off his shield and gave it to him. And they, they do this uh, weapon exchange. But uh, I felt like it was a double beat because Baldrick has to give him, uh, give Reinhardt his, uh, his Overwatch coin. And then just, it turned into this whole like, hey, take my coin, take my weapon, take my shield. So we simplified that. So Reinhardt actually gave up his only hammer to Baldrick. So that in a way, it's, it, it symbolized that he gave up his old way and then now he's taking on the new role as a protector. And then showing him coming out of the wall and rescuing uh, the two soldiers that he was making fun of earlier, which is a nice contrast. The slow motion shot, it, it's difficult to do uh, every time we go into slow motion. Um, the way we approach it here is it actually animated uh, slow. I mean, in, in past cases, we sometimes we actually animate it real time and then we slow it down um, to like 60 frames per second or whatnot. This time we just decided to let's animate this thing as if it's just slow motion. It, it creates a lot more work, but I think the effects it was pretty cool. I knew I want this moment to be really uh, dramatic and, and make, make people really feel that the situation is dire and then we see the change uh, Reinhardt has, 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 has gone through and, and become. So this is the final shot. Um, we, we literally take the game asset and then we uh, put our character in it, making sure that the, the character is exactly on, on the same spot. This moment when the transition from the past to the present, it was a crossfade. And at one point, me and my editor, Jake Penn, uh, said, hey, let's try something. Let's, why don't we try to do a uh, straight cut and with the right sound effects, I think it, it creates a better impact. I must answer. Always. So that's it, guys. Um, thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed the short film.